What's up guys, my name is Casper. I'm a mural artist from Melbourne, Australia, and I'm currently in this little country town called Wodonga. I've been commissioned to paint a whole bunch of murals around town by the city council, and this is number one. So it's a huge fish. It's about 15 meters wide by like four meters tall, and it's called a, a Murray Cod, so they're actually local to the river just down the road. The design I did was pretty crazy when it comes to style, especially when it comes to this, this little town. Like, I'm not too sure how it actually get accepted, but it actually went really well. I'm really happy with the piece, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're into murals in some way, shape or form, whether you're an artist yourself or whether you're just sort of into street art. And there's a few little tips and tricks or interesting things I can teach you along the way. And this is definitely one of them. This has been a lifesaver for me. This wall actually took about like an hour and a half to prime the whole thing. So this is just a battery operated spray gun. And there you go. You can just smash walls so, so quickly. And on the back of the wall here, you'll see a whole bunch of just crazy shapes and lines and letters and such. This is a way that mural artists these days actually get their perspective up onto a wall of that size. I actually have a video that I've created dedicated to how I do this. And if you wanna check that one out, just click that link up on the top right hand side. You'll see some of the areas are painted white and some are left black. That's so some colors actually have a nice base to sit on top of. Like one color I'm using quite a lot of is yellow, and if you were to paint that straight onto a black wall, once that fades over time, the color just goes bad really, really quickly. If it has a white base underneath it, not only will you need less coats, but over time it'll age better. So the paint that I'm using just here are called Montana 94s. They're really, really nice, low pressure spray paints. Not very good for the type of huge area that I'm painting uh, on that top blue section there. But I do a lot of really thin lines you'll see later in the video and they're perfect for that. So here comes those thin lines and color fills I was talking about. Really good for fading. Uh, you can just use a nice thin cap on the top of that can and there you go. You can create these really cool color gradients in a matter of seconds. And the one thing I suggest too is you don't always have to use a spray can facing directly against the wall. So angle in different directions and you'll notice you'll be able to do those fades almost instantaneously. I changed the cap a little bit. So originally I had a really thin cap on top, but I changed it over to something a little bit bigger. They're called New York Fats, and they're a really nice, well-controlled fat cap. And they're good for these large areas where you have to use a higher pressure to create that gradient. like more of an in-depth view of me painting with that spray can and the type of line work that you can get. You'll notice I'm really really close to that wall and as I move I don't actually bend my wrist but I move my body so it's a matter of keeping the same distance away from the wall as you move. It's really a thing of muscle memory if you do it long enough you'll make enough mistakes and just figure it out along the way. So this is a technique that's super easy and quick to do. You see I just sort of spraying mist over the top of these lines and the next thing you know when you stand back it looks almost like a neon. There it is, that's, uh, that's the finished up mural. I came back the next morning on a nice sunny day to get a good last flick of it 
and I'm pretty happy with the final result. And if you're into these videos and you like my work, feel free to subscribe to my channel because I post videos like this all the time.